सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग यू कैन स्टार्ट मॉर्निंग सेशन वी बीन टॉकिंग अबाउट एक्सरसाइज टू ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी बाय द सेल्फ एंड वी हैव कम अप टू स्टेप सिक्स ऑलमोस्ट टू द एंड ऑफ एक्सरसाइज टू सिक्स आउट ऑफ द सेवन स्टेप्स just to quickly recap the steps as you are all aware in step 1 we tried to see these two distinct realities the self and the body as a human being i am a coexistence of these two realities so these two distinct entities the self a unit of consciousness and the body a material unit i can see that these two realities are there for myself i can see that i am there because i can see the activities going on within me so i exist i am an existential reality i can also see that the body is there because i can read the sensations in the various parts of the body so i know that these two realities exist i can see that in step 2 we were trying to see a little bit about the interaction between these two units the self and the body the material and the consciousness and we said that in this um interaction there is only exchange of information nothing physical is exchanged or transferred from one unit to the other it is just an exchange of information so if i am giving some instruction to the body this is some information that is being passed on to the body if i am reading some sensation from the body this is also some information that i am getting about the body so this exchange of information is all that is being exchanged between the self and the body in step 3 we were trying to see who is the decision maker in all of this interaction and we could see for the most part that i am the one who's deciding i am the one who is reading the sensation at will depending on uh, you know whatever i think is important for me giving importance to that sensation i read that sensation i may be you know many sensations may be accessible to me to read but i focus on that which i think is important for me at that time when i read that sensation i give some meaning to it and based on that i come to some decision then i decide what to do with that sensation and i give the instruction to the body and then the body goes ahead and acts so in all of this we may be able to see that i am the one who's choosing first of all to read that sensation then i am the one who is giving the meaning to it i am the one who is deciding what to do with it and i am the one who is giving the instruction to the body to do whatever it is that i think it needs to do so we said that i am the seer i am the one who is seeing i am the doer because i am the one who's deciding and i am also the enjoyer or the experiencer of the various sensations that i read i am the one who tastes the sensation i am the one who you know gives that meaning and experiences that sensation then in step 4 we were trying to see the distance between myself and the body 
So when I read the sensations, I can see that I'm not the sensation. Neither am I in the sensation. Rather, I am observing, reading this sensation from a distance. And I can read the sensation in any part of the body. I can observe this from a distance and read it in any part of the body. So there is a distance between myself and that sensation. So we can say that there is a distance between myself and the body. You can see that. In step five, we were trying to see how we associate meaning to the sensation. So the sensations that I read, first of all, the source of this sensation, where is this sensation coming from? It could be coming from within the body or it could be coming from outside the body. So if we look at the source of the sensation outside the body, some event is happening outside the body which leads to some sensation in the body. So the event outside could be in the form of behavior of another human being. When I interact with another human being, their behavior, they say something, that sound reaches the body, it has some impact, it leads to some sensation in the body. That could be one source. Another source can be some change is happening in the environment, something to do with physical facility, something to do with, say, the temperature outside, the air outside, the food that is on the table, something that impacts or has some effect on the body, leading to some sensation, which then I can read. These are the events outside, or it could be an event inside the body. So many events are happening in the body. They lead to many sensations. So it could be a sensation within the body also. So coming to the events outside and the sensations that are um, you know, that are there in the body because of the event outside. Now in the body, there is only the sensation. But who is choosing to read and taste the sensation? I am doing that. I choose to do it based on whatever is important to me. And if we see how I decide what is important to me, that depends on my sanskar. Then I give some meaning to this sensation. The meaning that I give to the sensations, this is also on the basis of my sanskars whatever I give importance to, whatever I am, um, you know, the pattern of thinking based on the impressions within me, from the past, from the outside, from my last previous experiences and so on. So these sanskars can be based on some assumption that I have about the other person, about the reality of the existence, about everything in this existence. And this assumption can be the right assumption. It could be based on understanding, knowing, or it may be just some assumption without knowing. So if it is an assumption just based on some assumption, I mean, if it is a meaning that I'm giving based on, you know, a sanskar, which is due to just some assumption that is not real, then I could get influenced by this sensation. 
since I don't have the understanding, since I don't have the knowing, my feeling is not ensured. So I may be deciding my feeling on the basis of this sensation that I'm reading and the meaning that I'm giving to it. And on the basis of that, you know, if, if I decide my feeling in line with natural acceptance, I'm happy. If I decide my feeling, you know, and the feeling is not in line with my natural acceptance, then I feel unhappy. And so I react within. And if I choose to express this reaction outside, I instruct the body and the body follows. On the other hand, if my sanskar is based on knowing, on understanding, then I can ensure the right feeling within myself then no matter what the sensation, I'm able to see it for what it is and I'm not influenced by that sensation. I have already decided my feeling. I already have the right feeling, the feeling that is naturally acceptable and I'm comfortable within, I'm happy within. And with that, when I read this sensation, then I respond to it. And if I choose to express it outside, then I instruct the body accordingly and the body follows. Same process happens when there is any event within the body. Same way I read the sensation, I give meaning. And depending on my sanskar, I'm either influenced, not influenced. I either react or respond. And then I may choose to express it outside and you know. So in all of this, you can see that there is a lot of flexibility, a lot of choice that I have. And essentially the choices that I'm making are dependent on whatever my perception of the reality is. So if I think somebody is attacking me, I have a feeling of opposition and I may, I may be very aggressive. I may react inside, I may react outside also. But if my perception is different, if I see that what I thought was an attack on me is actually an expression of the other state and in fact the other is very uncomfortable, very unhappy, now I see this whole thing in a different light. Now the same sensation I read, I give a different meaning to it. And I'm not influenced by it. I'm already comfortable within. I have already decided my feeling. And being in a state of happiness, I'm able to respond to the situation. So all these choices that I am making are dependent on my perception of the reality. So is my perception the right perception or is it something different? Is my perception based on understanding or is it some assumption without understanding? All of this depends on my sanskar. So we could see the significance of observing the sanskar, seeing whether it is in line with understanding or not. Now when we are in step six, we were observing our response or reaction to the events. And if we look again in this slide, you can see If we see the you know, external events, possibilities are the behavior of another human being, how they talk, how they walk, how they approach, 
and so on. It could be related to physical facility, some physiochemical event outside, like we said, or it could be some event within the body. <clears throat> Through these three sources, there can be some sensation in the body. I am reading that sensation that I think is important. I am giving meaning to that sensation depending on whatever I have understood about the reality. It may be in line with right understanding. It may not be in line. And I choose or decide what to do based on whether I am influenced or I am not influenced by the sensation. So I, you know, react or respond. Then I give the instruction to the body if required. So if you can go to the next slide. We will see that what the possibilities are. So in this possibility, suppose my sanskar is based on an assumption without knowing. Now, since I don't have the right understanding, I, the knowing part is missing. <coughs> Therefore, I am not able to have this continuous happiness within me. My feeling is not ensured within me, so I am not happy within. So I am looking for happiness from outside. So through the body, through the various sensations in the body or through another human being trying to get the right feeling from the other, which again is in the form of sensation through the body. And my decision is influenced by that because my feeling is not secure. It has not been ensured. So I decide my feeling based on that sensation. So if I like the taste of the sensation or the feeling that I'm getting from the other, then I become happy. I'm excited. This is the reaction. And I try to Continue with this because I think now this can lead to happiness for me. I want to extend this happiness. So I cling. I'm attached to that. And I try to continue with that. And if it is not there, I crave for it. If I dislike the sensation, the taste of the sensation, or the feeling that I get from this sensation. Then I become unhappy. And I don't want to continue with this taste. So I try to avoid, avert this, not be in touch, not be in contact, not be close to, I move away. So many a times people say that, why do I need to have relationship? Why is it important? I'm better off by myself. We need to check. Is it because I dislike the taste of the sensation or the feeling that I'm getting from the other? And it is making me unhappy. Therefore, I want to discontinue with it. Therefore, I am deciding against this unpleasant feeling that I have. Is that the reason? And if that is the reason, that is not going to be solving any problem. Because the relationship is already there. Just because I don't see it, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It's like how, you know, the small children 
say when they are eight nine months they play this game peekaboo so they hide and when you try to look at them they peep out and then they hide again so that you can't see them many a time these children they put their hands on their own eyes now they can't see you so they assume that you also can't see them <laughs> it's quite funny when you see small children do that so they close their eyes and they they think they assume that you can't see them because they can't see you so just because i can't see the relationship doesn't mean it doesn't exist that is just uh, as an example i was giving yes next slide so with this um you know reaction that is happening within now i may or may not express my reaction outside through the body either way the reaction has already happened within either way i am already with a feeling that is not naturally acceptable and i am already unhappy within now if i express this reaction outside then i make the other also unhappy so if the other was shouting and i interpreted it as he is shouting at me now i get ready to shout back so i think that the other intends to make me unhappy see i doubt the intention i don't see it as lack of competence i just think he wants to hurt me so i in retaliation try to hurt the other so i try to shout back or whatever if there is some physiochemical change to which i am reacting like the weather is cold if i have understanding i will say that okay it's cold i can put on some warm clothes but if i perceive it as a danger to the body if i perceive it as something very drastic now i may react with this and with a feeling of fear with anxiety i put on you know as as an example i may put on layers and layers and layers of clothes on top of me to protect the body because i am scared something will go wrong with the body here i may not be able to i may not be seeing my distance from the body i may be assuming i am the body similarly if there is some problem in the body there is some disharmony in the body there is some sensation i am reading from the body like for instance when we have a headache if i don't understand if i have assumed something like i have assumed i am the body like i have assumed that this headache might mean something very terrible then i react i may panic i may immediately go to the doctor and get many tests done and so on so you can see all of this impacting our day to day life how we are taking decisions about small things the choices that we are making it is depending on our sanskars in fact so many impressions on the body you will notice it is because of your sanskar like you will notice that there are people with lot of frown lines on the forehead anger irritation that has become a sanskar and the expression of that is visible on the body how a person walks how a person talks all of this can reflect or can express 
a person sanskar and we can see that but of course most important for us is to see our own sanskar because that's the one that is going to make a difference to my happiness and in fact to be able to understand to be able to see from the level of pure observer keep referring to that natural acceptance the pure observer from there if i keep taking my reference then i can get to understanding go beyond the sanskars which are not in line with this so with all of this if anybody has any questions or observations to make we can take your observations or any sharing to do with what we've been talking about so now let's look at the other side of it so if my sanskar is based on knowing on right understanding now i can have the right feeling within me i can ensure this right feeling within me at all times at all moments i can be in a state of harmony i can be happy i can be calm and whatever sensation that i am reading i make the right evaluation of the body if it is an event of the in the body of the outside world of the situation outside and then i decide how to respond because i see the relationship because i have the right feeling i see how i can be mutually fulfilling for the other so i can see in the case of the other human being who is shouting or who is drunk or whatever that the feeling that the other is expressing is indicating his state it tells me that the other is expressing his state of excitement or anger that means what he obviously doesn't have the right understanding he obviously doesn't have the right feeling so he is only sharing what he has and he is unhappy so i can see that he needs help now what can i do to assure him to help him express the right feeling towards him to help him eventually to develop right understanding and all this may not be possible suddenly when you know some something like this happens with an unknown person but at least in that situation i will respond and if the possibility is there to you know go further to help him understand then i will do that also at some point but at least i will not become unhappy with the situation at least i will see see you know have a feeling of concern for the other and this feeling that i have within me of concern for the other is actually the one that is going to make me comfortable within similarly if there is some physiochemical change in the environment so like we were talking about cold weather so okay how cold it is accordingly i decide what to wear but i still go about my business it's not i i just shut myself inside and sit at home because it's too cold and so i trying to avoid the weather i will just dress according to the weather and go about my business do whatever i need to do without any reaction without any change in the feeling without anxiety without fear and so on and similarly if there is some issue with the body like a headache is there then i will evaluate this because i have the right feeling i will see okay what are the possibilities maybe i didn't drink enough water maybe i should drink more water maybe i overate the food that i ate was heavy it caused some gas bloating and that is leading to the headache so i will do 
you know, whatever needs to be done. Maybe I'll, next meal, I will have a very light meal or whatever. Those choices I will make. So I will respond to the situation. This response to, you know, all these sensations, to whichever sensation it is, I again have a choice to express this outside or not through the body. Right? This again is a choice that I'm making. This is something that, you know, if I think it is required for me to express it outside, then I express it outside. If I think it is not required to be expressed, I may not express. Again, that choice is there. So none of these, the behavior or work of the other, the physiochemical change, the condition of the body, this is not going to have any influence on my state of happiness. Because I am self-organized, because I already have the right feeling within me. Next slide, please. So based on the right understanding within, I have the right feeling, the right thought. And it is not influenced by this external input. So I continue to be in harmony. I am continue to be in the state of happiness. And whatever external input is coming in the form of this sensation through the body, I evaluate that. So whether it be the state of my body or the state of the outside world, I evaluate it correctly. My feeling is definite. I can see my relationship with the other. I can see my responsibility. So if it is the body that I am seeing, the sensation within the body, the event inside the body, then I can see what is my role. I need to nurture the body, protect it, and rightly utilize it. That is clear to me. In the case of the other human being also, I can see that whatever he is doing is due to a lack of competence. That behavior that he is showing is a reflection of his state. So from my side, my behavior will be one that is for mutual happiness, for justice in the relationship. And with the rest of nature also, my work will be such that there is mutual prosperity. In the larger order, I will see what is my role, my participation for having a humane society. So when I properly evaluate this external input, I decide to respond. I decide to be mutually fulfilling. And so I take care of my responsibility in every situation, depending on my level of competence. Isn't it? Yes. Um, I think that is uh, about this step. Can you go to the next slide? Yeah, we'll come back to this. Go back. Yes. So, um, with this, we can have some further discussion if required. We have a couple of hands raised. We have also not been able to do the observation today, but uh, we'll take the question first. Can We'll observe this within us today. Again, the response or reaction, the choices we are making, how our sanskars are influencing um, the way you know we are processing all this information, the sensations that we are reading. And I'll write the assignment also in the group. Now we'll switch to the Hindi session.